Tonight, a massive break in the case of missing teen Alexis Murphy. Cops say they just found perhaps the most important piece of evidence, her cell phone. So crucial, so filled with information. Now, this is her alleged abductor. Car dealership employee and ex-con Randy Taylor sits behind bars tonight as Alexis is still missing and her family grows more frantic by the hour. A gas station surveillance camera captured Alexis right before she disappeared August 3rd near Charlottesville, Virginia. The video shows Alexis and this creep Taylor at the same place at the very same time. The suspect doesn't deny he and Alexis interacted, but he offered a bizarre explanation for why cops found one of the 17-year-olds hairs in his camper. Here's his lawyer with that. She made a comment to him about um, smoking marijuana based upon her seeing him at another car wash in Levingston weeks, a month before that. He had indicated to her that he uh, would like to get some more. She said, I know a guy. She told him to meet at another location in Levingston. And uh, they rode up there in both cars. Of course, that could be all made up by this ex-con, who's probably a pathological liar to boot. After that, Taylor claims he and Alexis and this mystery drug dealer went to his camper where he and the man smoked pot, and then Alexis drove off with the drug dealer never to be seen again. The story, of course, has her family outraged. I'm gonna talk to them in a second. Could Alexis Murphy's cell phone hold a clue to blow this case wide open straight out to Nadine Maser, WDBJ reporter on the ground in Virginia? What is the very latest tonight? Well, yes, Jane, as you mentioned, that, phone, that cell phone is such a p crucial piece of evidence. And I spoke to the lead investigator just a few hours ago. It's the first time he's spoken to any of the media since they've held any press conferences. He tells me that they actually found uh, several cell phones during their search throughout Nelson County. One did make a match for Alexis's, and he clearly couldn't comment any more on what they found with that cell phone because, you know, it is an ongoing investigation. They also upped the ante on their search efforts this weekend. They... Uh, uh, crews were on the ground on by foot with canines uh, for the first time that we had seen in a few days. Several people out there. They did recover a red piece of clothing from the Rockfish River, but I'm told just a few hours ago that that does not belong to Alexis Murphy. So they've hit a dead end with that. But again, this cell phone is a very crucial piece of evidence, like you said. And there is video of Alexis the last time she was seen at this location where there's a gas station as well as uh, a restaurant where she would grab a uh, frozen drink, a dessert drink, and uh, there is the creepy guy that claims that she approached him and they started talking about pot. You know what? As her relative said, the idea that she would go out of her way to interact with this guy really doesn't pass the smell test. Uh, our very, very special exclusive guest right now Angela Taylor, the aunt of the missing teenager, Alexis Murphy. Angela, thank you so much for uh, coming on our show. And first of all, I have to ask you, what have cops told you? Uh, this is such, you know, this has the pings. It can uh, figure out wherever this was, where she might have been. What do you know? Well, Jane, thank you for allowing me to be on the show this evening. Um, we know this is what they have released to the to the press um, at this point that one of the cell phones found in one of their searches uh, did belong to Alexis. Um, so that you know that's really all that we know at this point in time. Um, but you know it's just one one more piece of the puzzle, a, a big piece of the puzzle, and hopefully the other piece will come and that will be her, and then this puzzle will be solved and complete, and she'll be home safely. Did you get any sense of where they found it? Because obviously that would be so crucial. Uh, you're looking at sort of a depiction of the pings. Uh, these cell phones, if they're on, can tell cops where the individual who is holding the phone has gone. And it's, it's, it's probably the biggest advance in law enforcement in decades. Did they give you a, a sense of where they found it? They did not. Um, you know, they, it was found in Nelson County. Um, the exact location was not uh, confirmed to us, so that information I do not know. Well, uh, if you could stand by a moment, we've got a team of experts here to help us find your precious.